So we know that consumers are likely to want to tell the truth about their health history and have an expectation of trust of the healthcare system. And so um, what, when we survey them, for example, they'll share that um, the privacy of their data matters, but if it's going to improve their health by it being shared or improve the health of others, as long as they won't be discriminated against, they're very open about, about that, the information being available. They also, by the way, consumers have an expectation that healthcare information is digitized, and in some cases they think it is already widely electronic. That means uh, our responsibility then is a, as health IT, whether we're government or vendors or providers, is to do everything we can to s fulfill that vision for them and of the, d the digital information being available when and where they need it, but only when and where they need it. And we have to be sure that we are um, allowing for appropriate consent and consent that is not static, but can follow them as their life circumstances change and that we're being, uh, doing everything we can to see the data is secure. This is often an institutional responsibility because they're the owners of that data. What we do at ONC is everything we can to educate the providers and the institutions and the vendors about what matters with respect to security and privacy. Uh, and to that end, for example, we have a tool that is an online security risk assessment tool that we're getting feedback from now from providers about whether it makes sense to them, whether it's helpful. It's particularly designed for smaller doctor offices and hospitals who don't have big resources. Um, and it's meant to help them comply with the security expectations. Uh, I would tell you as a physician who's been undergoing such training for a couple of decades, I think it's one of the better tools I've ever seen. It's really clear and I think really heightens the knowledge um, and the expectation around the role that providers have, doctors and others, in protecting the security of people's data and being really thoughtful about um, the devices that we use in the clinical environment to make sure we're doing everything we can to help protect our patients.